Dr. James. I encourage the class to return to our previous discussion on minimum wage, to thank everyone who responded to you uh, in your post. I'm asking you to come back to our discussion and to thank us for sharing with you. Also, you're learning to debate the issue about minimum wage, the pros and cons, appropriately and civilized, without risk getting angry. And then everyone can contribute to the debate on the minimum wage reform. See how these people are, these young men are in a circle, and they're debating, they're talking, they're giving their ideas. Join us on Friday to complete step five of this assignment on the pros and cons of minimal wage. Now that you have thanked everyone and you have done your planning to write your argument, we're going to write the argument. The instructions or the guide in helping you to do that for paragraph, for paragraph one, you introduce your argument in an interesting way. You use specific examples or examples to help the reader to see your side. Make clear which side of the argument that you support. And in paragraph two, write one reason that you think people should or should not support a raise in the minimum wage. Give an example that supports this reason. Also in paragraph three, Write a second reason that you think people should or should not support a raise in the minimum wage. Give an example that supports this reason. And number four, paragraph four, take one of the reasons from the other side of the argument and explain why it is not a good enough reason. Make a strong statement about why the side you support is the better argument. Sum up or finalize your argument in concluding sentences. Repeat your two positive reasons for supporting your side of the argument. Repeat why the other side of the argument is weaker than your side. End with a sentence that is like the interesting way you introduce the entire essay in the first paragraph. And that urges your reader to agree with you. A reminder in typing up your paper, make sure you put your first and last name and the date and the title of the assignment. I'm expecting great work. Dr. Z.